Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The Dialga and Palkia Terror Raid event is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details as well as the best Pokemon to go in and beat both of these Pokemon with in your game. So kicking off on the 8th of December as of recording this video and running through to the 21st of December, Dialga and Palkia are now going to be available for you to obtain in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Dialga is going to be tied specifically to players with Scarlet and Palkia is going to be specifically tied to those with Violet. The Dialga and the Palkia are going to be both 5 star raids, both level 75, both with their hidden abilities and both with the Dragon Terror type. The Dialga is going to have the moveset of Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Fire Blast and Steel Beam with the additional moves of Trick Room, Stealth Rock and Iron Defense. It will have a quiet nature and it will have a 19 speed IV stat. So it is going to hit a raw speed stat of 138, which is quite important for this Trick Room that is going to be set up within the raid when we go into it. We'll get into the details of that in a moment. Along with that, you're going to get a lot of good item drops for this raid as a five star terror raid. You're going to get ability patches. You're going to get terror shards, a bunch of those calciums and XL and large candies. And then when you repeat the raid, you're going to have the chance of the ability patch, the ability capsule, uh, bottle caps and other high cost items. So a very good raid to go in and run through for farming items ahead of the Indigo disc. Now the Palkia itself, a lot of the attributes are like the Dialga, but it has got a modest nature over the quiet one. Its moveset is going to be Draco Meteor, Thunder, Fire Blast and Hydro Pump. And additional moves it's going to have are Gravity and Rain Dance. Again, a lot like the Dialga, same item drops that you're going to get pretty much across the board. And again, a very good one, probably the easier of the two to go in and beat, especially if you're farming it. So it makes it easier for you Violet players. And like I say, the event is running a couple of weeks now. So you've got the opportunity to go into your games, grab both of these. Remember, they're only catchable once per save file and also farm them for the high cost items. Now to access these raids in your game, you're going to need to make sure you are connected online, then come to your poker portal. Once your poker portals open, come down to mystery gifts and then check poker portal news. This will connect you to the internet update all of your raid dens on your map and once you've done that you just want to check your map and then look for this terra raid den it will have a white aura around it and it will have the dragon terror symbol so the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be sylvian it's going to be very effective at going in and beating both the dialga and the palkia very effectively in your game we'll get to the details in a moment but as always the build will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at after the video sylvian is going to be set to level 100 it will have the fairy terror typing it will have the shell bell as its held item and it will have the moveset of Light Screen, Calm Mind, Fake Tears, and Hyper Voice. It will have its hidden ability, which is Pixelate. So you're going to have to use an ability patch on the Sylvian to make sure you've got that, because that will turn the Hyper Voice into a Fairy type move. And the EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in Special Attack and 252 EVs in Special Defense, with the remaining six put into that HP stat. Now, the big important thing about Sylvian here is the nature that we choose on the Sylvian. This one is a quiet nature, so it's boosting the special attack, but reducing the speed as well. We did talk about the speed stat on the Dialga being a 19 speed IV, and it does have a quiet nature as well. So its raw speed stat is 138 on level 75. Now, you want to make sure with Sylvian that you are under speeding it. Of course, we're zero speed IV with this Sylvian, but anything under a 28 speed IV for Sylvian is exactly what you're looking for so you want to be coming to the judge function in your box screen and looking at the speed iv what the judge function says here you can toggle this with your plus button to see what it says you can see that the dialga is saying pretty good if you want to distinguish it if it says no good decent pretty good or very good you're pretty safe here now the only caveat with very good is it can go up to 29 which would just tip you over the point of under speeding their dialga but anything below that is fine you want to hyper train the rest of our IVs here so they're all set to 31 but that speed IV has to be lower than 28 and if it is with a quiet nature you'll always under speed the dial getting a trick room and that is going to be very important for how to execute the plan against specifically the Dialga. The Palkia is a breeze. The Palkia is really easy to deal with with the Sylvian and this is a build that you're going to be able to take online and utilize as well so it works both solo and for online raids as well pretty much the same premise 
And with that, we'll jump into the raid and I'll show you how easy it can be to beat the Dialga with this Sylvian. So when the raid begins, the Dialga turn zero is going to set up a trick room that's going to flip the dimensions, make the slowest Pokemon move first and the fastest Pokemon move last for the next five turns until that trick room does end. That's perfect for us because we trained the Sylvian specifically to underspeed the Dialga in the trick room environment, meaning that we're going to be able to execute our strategy exactly how we want. So turn one, we see that trick room go up. We're going to lock in with that light screen. It's going to make sure that these big special attacking moves that come out from the Dialga, namely the steel beam, isn't going to be hitting us as hard. If you get lucky with the AI turn one, we'll go for either a fire blast or a earth power like you're seeing here. We'll also set up the stealth rock. So if you do faint, then you come back in, you're going to take some chip damage. Just bear that in mind. But the next turn, we're going to focus on reducing the special defense on this Dialga. We're going to try and get three special defense drops on this Dialga with the fake tears, taking it down two stages every time you use it. So ideally getting it down to minus six before the shield goes up. Sometimes you're only going to be able to get it down to minus four, but most of the time consistently you should be able to get it down to minus six before that shield goes up, putting you in a really good position to get some big sizable damage off uh, to get kind of through this raid. But you can see here we only get the two fake tiers off in this situation. That's super fine. Like I say, sometimes you're going to be able to get three off, but that's fine. And we're just waiting for this turn here where it nullifies the stat boosts on our side of the field and our abilities. This turn after that happens, you're going to lock in with the Calm Mind. It is going to fire off a Steel Beam. We still have that la uh, light screen intact, so we're not going to be taking too much damage and we get the opportunity to get our Calm Mind up. For some reason, we should have went first there, but with how the raids interact, most of the time the Trick Room is still in effect. We are going to be not getting the turn first, but we get the Calm Mind up, boosting our Special Attack and Special Defense. This next turn, you want to fire off a Hyper Voice. So that is the next step in this plan just to get some damage off on the board start taking down our terrestrialization counter taking advantage of the lower special defense on the dialga before it does nullify those stat drops on its side of the field so we'll get another hyper voice locked in and you can see how close we are to getting the shield uh removed right now and this is without getting the three fake tears off if you can get three of those off you're going to be doing a lot more damage going forward in this raid but the earth power doing absolutely negligible damage now and one more hyper voice is going to put us into the position where we we'll probably break the shield here and we're going to be in a position to terrestrialize this next turn where we're going to be able to really cut through the dialga very quickly now the rng and the ai will change it will vary we're trying to talk and cover bases while we're going through this raid like I say, the shield might go up a little bit later, it might nullify stats a little bit later, but the basic premise of what we're doing in this raid is exactly what you want to follow with the Sylvian, but it, it is very quick raid with the Sylvian, very consistent, and we are in the stage now where we can terrestrialize and just lock in with that hyper voice and make quick work of this Dialga here. So it's because we should be still plus one special attack and special defense, so we're taking... Uh, less damage from those big threatening attacks and if the AI decides to lock in with either the fire blast or the earth power then we're in a way better position but if it does go for that steel beam we've still got a little bit of a buffer and we see how much this hyper voice is done at one point you could go for another calm mind just to increase the damage output from the sylvian as well if you would like to so I think what we'll do is we'll decide to go for another calm mind while we've got the opportunity to and that will just give us a bit more of a buffer. It will make sure as well that our next Hyper Voice is probably going to be the one that picks up the knockout. Whereas you could just opt to go for another Hyper Voice. But you can see the Raid Timer is in a very good position. And this is in a raid where, you know, we have taken Steel Beams. We have had not the best of luck getting three Fake Tears off where we only got two off. And we're going to be able to do it before the raid is even at half. And this is on the harder of the two raids as well. This is Dialga. And Palkia is an absolute breeze compared to Dialga because it doesn't have access to those super effective moves in the, the Steel Beam. Um, so Sylveon is going to be one of those Pokemon that you can build in your game specifically. Just make sure you keep an eye on that speed IV when you're building it to make sure that you've got the advantage against Dialga when its Trick Room goes up. And you're going to be able to breeze through both the Dialga and the Palkia raids over the next two weeks while this event's running. Stock up on all these high cost items to make it easier when you go into the Indigo Disc. And it is as easy as that with this Pokemon. A lot of people say Sylveon isn't the Pokemon to bring because of the Steel Beam. But if you build a Sylveon correctly, like we've showed you in this video, you're going to have an easy time. You can see this is a repeat raid. We do get an ability patch. Lots of XL and large candy, star pieces, nuggets, things that we can sell. And it is a very good item drop and a, a great raid for you to take advantage of, I think, in the lead up to the Indigo Disc. 
So because you're only going to get one of these dens appearing on your map at a time. Once you've beat it and you want to respawn them, then come down into your home menu, into system settings, into system, then into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock by the internet is off. Toggle through the date and time. Don't change anything. Hit OK. Then come back into your home menu, into the game, and all the dens will respawn on your map. And you'll be able to locate the Dragon Raid. Once again, head over to the Dialga or the Palkia, whichever one you've got in your game and just start farming it and it really is quick it takes about five minutes to do this raid with this sylvian build even quicker with the palkia that is everything for today's video i hope you found today's video useful the sylvian build like i say is going to be very consistent it takes about five minutes to run through the dialga it's going to be quicker to run through the palkia and it is a build that you'll be able to take online but specifically built to solo in your game so you can farm those held items you're going to be able to use other pokemon of course things like Fluttermane, annihilate iron hands and azumarill are all good options against these pokemon as well so they'll be just as good and likelihood is you've already got these pokemon built in your game but if you want something specifically built for this terror raid event while it's running over the next two weeks then the sylvian is going to be the best one in my opinion going forward most consistent it's been the most successful build that i've been using to run through these to farm the items in my game and it's just about keeping an eye on that speed iv so you are under speeding the dialga in those first five turns it is quite important for executing the plan makes it a lot easier especially if it starts firing off those steel beams early but like i say the palkia is no issue at all it's just the dialga i am but the sylveon a very good build and something that everyone has access to in their in their games so hope you found it useful if you have got something that you've been having a lot of success with in your own games, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you've been relying on and using throughout this event. But thank you so much for tuning in. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.